Today, I will talk about the common misconceptions in IVF. Hi, my name is Vaseem Anjabi. As an embryologist, whenever a couple comes to me, he talks about that we have this number of embryo, this number of eggs, so what happened to our embryos? I want to tell you today that this is a misconception that if we have n number of oocytes, that will result in n number of embryos. What happens that usually every time there is not always 100% fertilization rate and it can be that the eggs they all are not mature. So this is a common misconception according to me. Whenever a couple comes to me they say that we have this number of eggs why don't we have this number of embryos. Also not only that when we are uh, uh, going through this process at that time is not always that everyone will become a good quality embryo sometimes the embryo get arrested at different stages so they result in the discarding of that embryo and we cannot freeze them or we cannot transfer them so that is the misconception according to me the couples have the end of the misconception the couples have is that if my embryo is so beautiful so top quality embryo why does not it result in the pregnancy so my answer will be that it's not always about the morphological parameters sometimes the best quality embryos is not necessary that it will result in a healthy baby or healthy pregnancy because what appears in the embryos is not always that if we have a top quality embryo it's not always that it will give us the pregnancy it can be genetically abnormal in Milan, the fertility center Greater Kailas 2 in Delhi, we provide our patients with latest technologies and every effort to the modern equipments which, we, which are available in the market. So if you have any question, please comment on our question series, like and subscribe to our channel for further videos. Thank you so much.